Let's learn all about the file manager in Concrete 5 version 7. So the file manager is used whenever you're placing an image, a PDF, a Word doc, any kind of asset you're going to use on the front end of your website. It is not a way to get at the source files that power your site. It's just a way to deal with the assets you use within it. Uh, sometimes you use it to pick a file or something from inside of a block, but you can also just get to it from the dashboard. So we'll go up here to the dashboard icon and go to files. So this is the main file manager and you can see we've got a list of files here. There's some paging down beneath, makes thumbnails automatically. We've got search, etc. Uh, the simplest thing is if you want to add a file that you're going to use on your website, you can just drag and drop it off of your desktop and it'll upload it right into the file manager. Uh, when you do so, it's going to go ahead and if it's an image, it's going to make a series of thumbnails for it, uh, including responsive breakpoints for uh, any number of different thumbnail sizes. So that's part of what's happening now as it uploads this file. All right. There's two other ways to get files uh, into your file manager. If you click more options, you can FTP files into a incoming directory if you have access to the file system behind the scenes. Or if you've got uh, image URLs that are out on the web, you can put these in here, HTTP colon slash slash image name, and it'll go grab a copy and pull them in. Let's take a look at the file we just uploaded. When you click it, you get a little menu and there's a number of options here. So view just brings the image up in a overlay and also has a download button if I want to pull a copy down. Download just downloads a copy. Edit for images brings up a JavaScript image editor. So perhaps I want to resize this image or uh, crop it a little differently. Uh, this gives me a simple tool for changing the way um, this image is, is framed. Properties is worth investigating a little more. So if you bring up properties, there's actually three different tabs. Uh, details gives you a bunch of information about the image. Uh, you can see its file name, where it actually sits in the file system. And Concrete 5 does move these files around to subdirectories, so you'll never override the file that you uploaded by uploading a file with the same name. Um, tells you the type, shows you that it's made a bunch of thumbnails. I can click this and bring those all up and edit these individual ones if I want to. Um, shows me who added it, uh, and you can see there's some custom fields here as well. So if I want to add a description to this image, I can just type here. and this will be saved against the image. We call these custom attributes, and I'm going to show you how to add your own in a little bit. Um, you can see it's also used those to show the width and the height of the original picture. Every change that you make to an image uh, is tracked with versions. So uh, if I upload a new image and replace it, you'll, and you'll do that in a second, you'll be able to roll that back here. Uh, you can see who did it when, uh, even make some comments. Um, if you turn statistics on, this will actually track uh, how many times a, a Word doc has been downloaded and that type of thing. Uh, you want to be careful with statistics in Concrete 5. It does create an awful lot of data in your database. Uh, replace, as I mentioned, will let you upload a new file and uh, swap this file out with it. So this is super handy. Imagine you have a PDF of... Uh, your current billable rates, and you have that uh, all over your website. You've got this PDF uh, on, on different pages spread around. Instead of having to hunt that down or keep some list, you can just come into the file manager, upload a new one, and any instance where that file has been placed on the front end of the website, everything will be automatically updated uh, with just one click. And again, you can always roll that back with versions within properties. Copy is nice if you're going to um, be doing a lot of changes with an image. So I just copied it, it made a new version, and now I can go ahead and, um, you know, maybe I want to edit this thing 
and uh, tinker around with it, but I, I didn't want to mess up that original image. Um, perhaps it was being used in the front end, or I wasn't sure, but I just wanted to go ahead and call this image my own, so I wasn't um, stepping on anyone's toes. Um, permissions we're going to get into in a second. Delete does what you would imagine. Uh, I'm going to show you the attributes that I mentioned before. So you can make attributes in Concrete 5, and you can associate them with files, pages, uh, people, if you're uh, using the community building stuff, um, and some add-ons use them as well. Um, you see attributes when you're making the blog page type, the composer view that shows you these different form fields, those are all attributes. Uh, and it's really just a way of making a strongly typed form element. So let's add just a simple select box. The handle has to be something simple with no spaces in it. The name can be a little bit longer and um, have some, some better formatting to it. The set lets you clump attributes together. Not very important uh, in terms of the file manager stuff. Um, searchable determines whether you'll be able to search by it in the um, file manager. Um, we do want to be able to search by it. Uh, because this is a select attribute, we've got some choices specific to that attribute. If this were just a text box, we would have different uh, choices for it. Uh, we don't want multiple options. We don't want users to be able to add to the list. Let's add a few values. So in this case, we're making a, a, a drop down for which department uses this mostly. Um, so we'll say HR. marketing, sales, and we'll go ahead and add this attribute. So now if I come back to the file manager, and I go to any of these files and I go into properties, you will see there's a new attribute here, department use, and here's that drop down that we made. So you can start to use this to do cool stuff. There's add-ons that'll take advantage of this information, um, or if I wanted to just find files that had been uh, tagged that way, I could click Advanced Search, and I can choose a new field. You can see there's that attribute that we added, Department Use, Marketing. I had added this width one earlier. We don't need that, so I'll remove it. Now I'll hit Search and I just get that single image. So you can start to see how you can use this to really organize your assets, even turn Concrete 5 into a lightweight digital asset management system uh, to meet your needs. File sets are another way to organize things. Um, don't think of these as folders because a set can't belong in another set. Uh, think of them as labels in Gmail. So um, you can make as many sets as you want. Images I love, make a new set there. Now when I come in to sets, you can see this, this image is in that set. So it's just another way to organize things. Um, what's cool about sets, if I put a couple images in that set, and then I come over to file sets, and come in to this individual one, you can see, you can actually see all the files in the file set from here, and you can change the order that they show up in the file set. There are various uh, add-ons from the marketplace that'll do things like an image gallery, pulling all the files from a set, and they'll very often honor the order of the assets in the set here. Additionally, you can see that you can turn on permissions for this set, now I happen to have advanced permissions turned on, and there's another tutorial about that. But if I turn on permissions, save and reload, you'll see there's now a fairly granular set of task permissions against all the files in this set. So I can start to lock this down and say, look, uh, instead of using that custom attribute, I wanna make a set for human resources, assets, only human resources, a group that I've made can view those files or edit them. Uh, or add them is very uh, granular. 
Um, and you can start to really let people kind of own their own parts of the file manager. And if I come back over to the file manager, the last thing I'll show you is each file has permissions as well. So you can see in this case, the permissions are just being inherited from the global file manager and the set. But if I wanted to, even for a specific file, <coughs> specific file, I can override the permissions and say that only Bob has access to view this file. So that is a quick rundown of everything the file manager does for you. Uh, there's some more Easter eggs built in there, some more power features, uh, but that should get you comfortable and tinkering around in the file manager with Concrete 5 version 7.